what's going on beautiful jellyfish is Tracy and today I'm going to be doing my modern updates. Honestly I don't remember the last time I filmed these. I want to say it may have been after Vegas or maybe before. I can't really remember so it's been you know a couple of months since I've done it and to be honest the reason that I haven't filmed it before then is because I haven't been playing modern. Actually scratch that I haven't been playing a lot of magic and I'll basically kind of talk about why in this video and I guess I'll just start there. So um this last month has been pretty crazy that I've mentioned. Um we had two weeks of, pro of professional development. If you don't know I work at a charter school. By nature our days are longer than public schools. Um our hours actually kind of changed this year um a little so things are like a little bit different um so it's like less than last year like it's earlier um but it's like a little bit less than stuff so it's still a longer a longer school day the kids are there for and that we're there for and um it's just been like really not so anyways we had like two weeks of intense professional development which those were like different hours those were like eight to five i think um and i we did that and then by the time i got home with like traffic and stuff it was like six o'clock and like i just didn't really have like a lot of time which is why videos were really like late and delayed and stuff because i felt like i just didn't have enough like me time like i didn't have enough like time to really like, get myself like together and i um and also maybe i should just give a disclaimer this is going to be a little bit about more than magic like i'm going to be talking about that but i'm also going to be talking about like life stuff in this video so if you're not into that for like some reason you can, you know, not watch it. Um, so we did that and then we had our first week of school and we did this really cool thing during the first week of school where we don't, we're a very like different school, I would say for a lot of reasons, which is really awesome. And I, I love the school. I love my job. It's great. So we do this first week and it's really about like team, team building basically like about building relationships with the kids. And then we also talk about like our policies and stuff, because again, we're very different than other schools and we do just like I guess an example that I can give is we do like this really cool thing we do like snaps for people so like if you have a great response we like snap um we like do spirit fingers and things like that so we we go over like all the rules and stuff of, of the school at the start so anyways we do that and then um was it last week I don't know I'm so thrown off by like time and like when this happened I think it was this past week was like our first like we actually dove into like content and stuff with the kids so it's been it's been great it's been like tiring and um very great I'm back to like my I I'm getting so like tired like at night I'm just like oh my gosh like the day has been so long and I'm back to like going to bed at like 10 o'clock waking up at like six something and you know it's just been like my routine so um anyways the magic has not really been fitting into that like I I would you know um we had like EDH night at major sanctum and then that ended up changing and um for good reason i mean they they're it's just small run shop you know they're not someone who has like a tons of employees so they ended up closing on mondays now which was edh night and then they changed edh night to be thursday and i really liked edh night on monday if i'm being honest because i um I just I don't know it was like a great thing to like start the week off with like you know you go like Monday is always like I feel like a really hard day and you just like go in and you're like oh sweet I get to like play magic actually I think now that I'm saying this I'm actually gonna like rename this video because I feel like I'm talking about things other than modern we'll just do like life updates or something so that changed and then I was like okay like that kind of like throws off like my whole modern um, my whole EDH vibe and then on Wednesdays I'd play modern it was like a modern win a box night and then the issue with that though is that I would get home so late and I am not someone who can thrive off of like six hours of sleep I do not function well so I've been kind of like I would say like I'm not I, I just don't really want to go to modern night like on that because of it goes so late and it starts late and I'm just not really about that like I'm not back in my college days where I can just like stay up and just like you know wake up at like cr in, later in the day like I'm not like that like I have a career this is my job like I can't just you know I, I can't just like do those things to myself and, and to like my body so 
I haven't been doing that. So anyways, I've been going on Fridays and um, that has been really great. I've been going and playing EDH and they do like a variety of things. You know, it's a classic FNM. So you're going to have like a ton of events so, like Legacy, if that ever fires. It usually doesn't. They do Draft, of course. They do Modern. I maybe they do standard i don't know i don't pay attention to standard so they they kind of just like do all of that kind of stuff and i uh, last night i went to mages and one of my friends connor who i think watches my videos i think a lot of the guys at my at mages watch my videos which is super cool shout out to y'all and last night he was like hey like i want to play something and then was like gonna borrow like amulet and i don't remember if i talked about that like recently no i don't think i did so well actually we'll flash forward um we'll, we'll flash back a little bit um during we had a party at our house which we like to have parties like once a month like just to have people over and stuff and you know get to see people because like everyone's schedule is so different so like if I go on Fridays like I'm not gonna see everyone like different people can come every week so we kind of is a place to invite like all of our friends and stuff so anyways um Connor was playing Bloom and um he was playing some modern games and then we were kind of like doing it where which I have to say I really like this especially with a deck like that where it is very complicated um you know he was playing it and I was like coaching him and like helping him like through that and I have to say I mean I, I'm just saying I am by no means the best magic player ever but I had like a really great time like coaching and like really helping him like okay that's not the right play like we do this instead also too amulet has gotten so much harder because of bloom being unbanned where your your land drops are so much harder to do that the deck has just gotten harder to pilot so it was a lot easier i feel like to explain when bloom was was a thing so i was like helping him through that and we played some games which is great anyway so flash forward to tonight uh, or to last night when I, I'm filming this on Saturday, he was like, oh, I want to play a deck. And I was like, well, it's like, you know, I, I have blue white, you know, like you can play that. The deck's good in the format right now. And so he played that and I sat in on like one of his games just cause like I played EDH, but then I, they had like four people and I was like, I hate five people. I hate any more than four is the perfect number. Three is, three is fine. Four is great. I don't want anything more than that. So I, I stepped out and I was like, yeah, I'll play like I'll, I'll watch. And so I was watching him play and um, you know, it was just like, I think I had like a lot of like realizations, I guess, in that, um, I think I'm honestly really scared to play modern and I feel like I've, I don't know if I've ever said that before, but I am, I'm very self-conscious and have anxiety and like, it is really hard for me to put myself in a situation where I like, I play because I feel like everyone is judging me and that really is that is that is me speaking from an anxiety standpoint that like I really bet that people like just don't care and everyone is just so focused on like themselves but like I feel like I I just get very very I, I don't even think it's nervous I really just think it is anxiety and I get it around the competitive aspect I do not get this at all with EDH I, it is just not it is not a thing and it's even in like an FNM like I have such issues bringing myself to play that now I think it's for a couple of reasons say in the world Mage's Sanctum I was back to playing EDH on Monday night and then Friday was my day to play modern I played two magic days and that kind of like sustained myself to be honest I don't really know if that would have been okay I, I don't know if I would have been if that would have like that would be working for me right now I don't know if that's going to be like okay so I think really the best way I can really say it is that I am very anxious to play in this format like I I I just feel like I I like I'm I'm listening to I think like the amount of work that I need to do to get better at magic, to get better at modern, I don't honestly think I'm committed to. 
And I think that's the case for a lot of people where a lot of people get really frustrated when they don't do well. And honestly, I'm just going to be like blunt that I, I just think a lot of people, if you're not at the stage that you want to be at, like you're probably just not putting in a lot of work. And that probably sounds really mean, but like, to be honest, that's how it is with myself is I'm being honest with myself. I'm not someone who wants to go home every night and be on moto and like, watch magic online and I, I'm sorry play magic online and watch magic I am not at that place where I want to do that and in my opinion like I want to enjoy my time because I look at that where my time once I get back from work is sacred I have like that amount of time and kind of like my routine is I get home at like variety of hours depends 4 30 4 45 I get home at then and then I'm like, okay, cool. How do I want to spend, let's just round that up to five. I, I have like five to 10 o'clock. I have five hours of sacred Tracy time. How do I want to spend that? And basically I usually start dinner. Um, I have an exercise bike that I work out with a couple of times a week. I, um, what else do I do when I get home? I feel like I do a lot of like odd like cleaning up type stuff like I get my lunch prep for tomorrow I actually meal prep on Sundays um which I have to say is something that has like really helped my life and that sounds very like weird but I get a lot of comments from co-workers and they're like oh my god like I'm so lazy I don't want to prep lunch I'm like dude I spend two hours on Sunday meal prepping and it helps me for the rest of the week so when I say when I when I say meal prep I mainly mean like I clean out my lunch box and then like I prep like the things that I need that I already have in packages that I already have in like my Tupperware that I pull out. So that really helps me and saves me a lot of time in the week that I do not want to be like, I'm, I'm, I do not want to go home and like do a lot of things. So, um, I do that. I'll do like some domestic stuff around the house, like, you know, v various things. Paul's really good and does a lot of stuff. He also works from home. And since his, is his day is like shorter, like by the time I wake up and like get home, it's, it's much of a shorter amount of time versus him who wakes up and then he ends his day. He's got more time than I do. So he's really great about that. Um, and then I do that and then we, you know, we eat dinner and sometimes with dinner we watch like an episode of something. We're kind of at like a, um, where are we like on TV shows? We're almost done. We're pretty much caught up with like everything, which is really great. We have like one episode of Westworld left, which you're probably gonna laugh because Westworld's been over for like months. So I need to, we need to watch that. And uh, we have like two episodes of Supergirl left, which again ended, that actually ended in June. So that wasn't as bad. Westworld ended way longer than that. I don't remember when that ended, but we have those two episodes. And then we're gonna actually, in order to prep ourselves for Kingdom Hearts 3, which if you didn't know is my favorite video game series. I actually don't know if you can see, there's a Kingdom Hearts poster in the back in my office. I don't know what you guys are limited to in, in this space, even though like I film with the same angle and I literally should know, but I don't. So anyways, we're gonna prep ourselves for Kingdom Hearts 3. We're gonna watch um, the, there's like YouTube clips that go through like the cutscenes of the games because some of them are on like DS games and like I've never, I don't have a DS, like I haven't played the Kingdom Hearts on there. So like we're gonna watch them and like play through, um, play through one, two, and then another one of the games that we have. And then um, get ourselves prepped for three, which is coming out, I think January, something like that. Um, Kingdom Hearts 3 date has been pushed back like, super late so anyways um that is okay so my night so then we eat dinner we may or may not watch an episode of something and if we do it's like 45 minutes and then you know we we do that and then i take a shower and then i really like to play video games i i i'm we're playing two games right now that i would say and i i love a lot of other video games but these are the games that i'm playing right now i really like this game called paladins it is very similar to overwatch I really enjoy it and I do like to play for an hour, maybe an hour and a half at night. It relaxes me. It is something that I just really, I, I should not say it relaxes me because I get really frustrated in that game, but it is like, it's, it's okay. Like it is, it's, it's frustration towards other people and not so much myself. Um, and then I also, Paul and I, uh, Stardew Valley multiplayer came out, which I've loved Stardew Valley from the beginning. And so multiplayer comes out, so Paul and I will sometimes play that. And then I just really like to watch YouTube videos. I really like to watch my beauty and planner videos. And then that's pretty much my night. And then there we go. And that is, th those are things that I like to do. Like, 
I want to work out. That is something that I really enjoy. I'm like pointing over here because my bike is over here. Um, I want to do that and then I want to spend the time cooking meals that I really enjoy. And that's pretty much like my days and magic just doesn't fit into that. And now Friday is a totally different schedule. You know, Friday is pretty much just like come home, cook, go to Major Sanctum. We got home last night at like, I don't even know what time we went to bed. I think we got home at like 11 or 11.15, something like that. And so we play magic from, by the time we get there, we get there at like 6.30 and then we play magic from 6.30 to then. And that's like my day and I feel like that is, that's enough for me. Like I feel substantial, like I play and I'm like, awesome. I feel really good. And I obviously, if I played a second day of the week, I think that would be totally fine. I have considered getting into Popper, but I'm always still like, I feel like I say these things that I feel like, I'll, I'll say like, oh yeah, guys, I'm, I'm going to get into Popper or I'm going to like get back into Modern and then it like doesn't happen and I'm like, I don't really have like, I, I guess I do have a reason. I mean, I feel like I'm explaining the reason. I just like, I'm not about it and I'm not committed to getting better and I think that's okay. Like I think, I, I, I think it's okay to admit that you aren't doing the things that you need to to get better and I think it's okay to admit that you don't want to do the things to get better. Like, but I think, I think not not playing a lot of magic and not watching magic and then getting frustrated that you're not getting better like isn't the right mindset like you need to do certain things to get better. like everything in life you need to do certain things to like get better and I'm just not there and to be honest I don't think I ever will be I think this is I really this is my career I really love what I'm doing and I feel like this isn't a career that I'm like I'm gonna come home at four and then you know, like when I step into a teacher role, like I'm not gonna have as much time and like that's not gonna mean anything for videos, but what it will mean is like my lack of magic time. Now, uh, Fridays, like I said, is my day. That's my reserve night for, for, for cards. But I also feel like too, I feel like I've become a lot more of a homebody and I feel like I, I really do enjoy my sacred time you know, being at home and spending time with Paul and I feel like I, I feel like going out and stuff, like, of course, like, again, on Fridays, I really enjoy doing that, but, like, other days of the week, if, if, if now you were to be like, hey, let's go play magic that day, I'd probably say no, and it's not because I don't love magic, it's just because I really want to be at home, and I, I feel like I don't have, when you look at that, like, those five hours, it's really not a lot of time to get all the things done and like to relax. Like I, I try to get all my stuff done by like seven or eight. It just totally depends on if I work out or not. And I try to get that done and then I try to spend, you know, an hour and a half or so playing video games and the rest of the time watching videos. And then like, that's it. That's my night right there. So this was really kind of a mishmash of a lot of different things. So I hope you guys like bared with me. I mean, obviously I talked about magic in here, but I talked about other stuff and this has just really kind of been how I've been feeling and, and I've been kind of out of touch with it, but I've been okay about that. And I think it's all about you and magic is like a personalized thing and it's all about how much time do you want to put into this thing. And I kind of guess I realized that the, that competitive side of me is, is not something I think I'd like to pursue. Now, I don't really know what that means. I don't really know that that means that I'm gonna, you know, not build another modern deck. Like, I, 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 I had that original plan where I was like, I'm gonna, um, collect magic cards so that I can build a variety of decks, and I think I'm not gonna pursue that. I think I'm gonna sell some stuff off because I just don't foresee myself putting in the money and putting in the time to better myself at the game. So I, I don't think I'm committed to that. I've always really loved EDH and to be honest, I think I that's just going to be my format. Now, I do still think I will film modern videos. I think I, I still do really like the format and who knows, maybe I'll play. I just don't know. I, I guess I, I'm at this spot where I just don't know. However, I am really confident in EDH and I feel like I have my collection, you know, of magic cards and stuff and when I film my video on my magic collection I have like cards that I set aside for modern all that kind of stuff and 
it's like I don't know like I think I just want to put stuff in EVH like I think I'd rather have EVH decks that I really love that I'm really proud of and then I go and play and I think that's what I want to do and that's what I'm just gonna settle on for right now however I still have blue white and I'm not gonna part with that yet because that is still just like my baby and I I I don't know what I'm gonna do with that but I think the a lot of the other pieces that I have originally set aside for modern I don't know if I'm gonna commit to I think I may sell a lot of things off so anyways I hope you guys like this this was kind of like a whole I don't even know what I'm calling this video just kind of like a variety of things but um I really hope you guys like this and let me know if you wanted me to do like another one of these videos again this was like more than modern updates but I did talk a lot about modern in this video so that's it. I'm going to let you guys go and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.